So yesterday I did the uh, AFC, today the NFC. So Fox Bet, the over-unders are out. So I'll show you how they, based on their over-unders, think the division will finish. And I've already given you my over-unders, the, the records I think teams will have. So here we go. Let's start with the NFC East. Fox Bet believes Dallas and Philadelphia tie for the division, then New York and Washington. I think Philadelphia wins the division. Dallas lost too many people from their leading sack maker to their best corner uh, to um, Travis Frederick, a Hall of Fame center, to Randall Cobb and a new coach. So I, I think there's only one playoff team, in my opinion, uh, in that division, and it's the Philadelphia Eagles. And, and frankly, uh, I think the Giants could be a little bit of a tire fire because uh, they have a new coach, new coordinators, uh, and I just, I just, I just don't know if Joe Judge can coach. But I got Philadelphia winning, Dallas, New York, Washington, non-playoff teams. Okay, uh, Fox Bet thinks the Green Bay Packers win their division. Minnesota second, Chicago third, Detroit fourth. Uh, I think Minnesota had a better roster last year and got significantly better in the draft. I think Minnesota drafts really, really well. Um, Justin Jefferson, slot wide receiver, Jeff Gladney, um, Ezra Cleveland, uh, a left tackle. Uh, they got a, I just think Minnesota was a better roster last year and got better. And so I think Minnesota wins the division. Green Bay is a team that will vie for a playoff spot. They're legitimate. I'm not saying they're not. Uh, Green Bay is a playoff team. I have them in. And then Chicago, 500 in Detroit. Uh, all right, NFC South. The over-unders. Fox Bet sees New Orleans winning. Then Tampa, Atlanta, and Carolina. I think the single easiest NFC bet on Fox Bet. I have New Orleans winning Tampa next to Carolina and Atlanta. I do not see it as a rebuild for Carolina. I think Carolina is a 500 team. They're over under is five and a half. I think it's the easiest NFC win. I have Carolina over five and a half. First of all, they had a great free agency period. Teddy Bridgewater, Robbie Anderson, Russell Okun. Then they went and got two of the best three defensive front players in Derrick Brown and the Penn State defensive end. Uh, and I think Matt Rule's the kind of guy that's going to take their already really good offensive players like uh, Curtis Samuel, DJ Moore, and Christian McCaffrey and elevate all of them. I think Carolina's a real team this year. I don't buy. They're a mess. And finally, NFC West... Fox Bet has the Niners winning, Seattle next, L.A. next, and Arizona. Uh, I have Seattle winning. I think Seattle is the number one seed in the NFC at 12-4. and four. Uh, I think they added a top corner in Quentin Dunbar, Greg Olson, uh, Bruce Irvin. And to be honest with you, like their defensive draft, and if it was not for running backs getting hurt last year, I think they beat Green Bay and give, they were really a good team, and give San Francisco fits. Um, I think San Francisco has a little Super Bowl hangover early in the year, but is good. Then L.A. I think L.A.'s just had too many losses, too many new coordinators, too many new coaches, too, too, too much movement, and I don't think they're very deep. And then Arizona's interesting, but they rounded out. So my playoff teams, there'll be seven, will be Seattle, Philadelphia, New Orleans, and Minnesota win their division, then the Niners, Tampa Bay, and Green Bay. I don't like Dallas as much as Fox Bet. That's about it. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.